Hi everyone, welcome to Metaphor Consulting Learning Channel. Today we are going to learn about ECN, commonly known as Engineering Change Number and Digital Signature in Standard SAP S4 HANA 2020 system. Before moving ahead towards the today forum, let's have a quick glance about my career profile. My name is Lakshmi Khan and I am having 18 plus years of smart IT experience in domestic as well as international projects. In addition to that, I am also a global certified consultant in SAP S4 HANA environment. So without further delay, let's have a quick look about the today agenda. Primarily, we are going to cover about the change number and its entire facility. Looking towards that, in the first section, we have to cover change number prerequisite. Coming to next, we will cover change number process flow. Third, we have to demonstrate in SAP S4 HANA. 2020 live system coming to next also cross check the digital signature approval policy applicable to the change number in same SAP S4 HANA 2020 system at last we have to conclude and find out the conclusion going ahead first of all have to cross check about the prerequisite of change number. So these are the activities we have to carry out primarily to reach the change number processes. Before going ahead to prerequisite and understand the detail about the prerequisite line by line Let's understand first what is change number and where it is implied. Change number, commonly known it as ECN, engineering change number. So, engineering change number in SAP is a process given for recording the change history for various aspects of production data or process records. Towards carry forwarding the change number activity, first of all, we have to execute the transaction code CC01. Definitely, we require a material number to assign that particular change number. Plant code is mandatory. Profile, you have to check. Because change number is applicable for various kind of segmental activities which is bifurcated through the profile. Currently, the profile which we prepared that is implies to master recipe. Today, we are going to focus about the process industry. When we are speaking about the PP, production planning, it is segmented into three different parts. One is called discrete manufacturing. Second one is called the process industry. And third one is called the repetitive manufacturing. Primarily, we are going to focus about the process industry. Commonly or genuinely, process industries are in demand. Also, it will be demand in future. Now, this particular change number has some description that also we can able to maintain it. Definitely in note we maintain this prerequisite and mandatory for creating this particular change number in SAP. Looking forward your process industry. However, this change number is also applicable to discrete manufacturing and repetitive manufacturing. But we will be execute this process in process industry 
at the S4 HANA live system. Going ahead to understand the processes, how exactly the change number will work. First of all, a change number will create in the system. Then doing the further activity, we have to intimate it to the system that what kind of profile we have to assign so that that particular change number which is precisely used in the system for recording the history can work properly. That is called the profile selection. Third, the very quickly the change number will create in the system and fourth, once the change number will available in the system, it will be go through the approval process by the authority and that authority again carried out through a digital signature in SAP, commonly known it as an electronic signature and that is possible through the SAP standard. Once the digital signature or electronic signature is carried out, it will be moved for the approve, means release that particular change number and ready for use. So if you can deeply look about this process flow, then you can understand or everyone can able to understand. First of all, a change number will create. So a change number will create that does not means it is ready for use. Okay. So understand that a master data MD stands for master data. Master data is available in system and that master data is going ahead to do for further level of activities. But definitely it is not ready for use. Second, once the master data is created in the system after the profile selection, it will very quickly going forward for the approval process. And that approval process is carried out through the electronic signature. Once the electronic signature has been carried out, then this particular ECN is released in the system and available for the necessary use. Let's understand through the systematic process and we are going to demonstrate in SAP S4 HANA 2020 live system. So I am switching to SAP screen directly. Prior going ahead, I have to intimate to everyone that yes, we are using SAP S4 HANA 2020 system. We are not going to use any other system. Okay. So here clearly written SAP S4 HANA on-premise edition of 2020 system. And in this particular environment, we are going to showcase you how this particular change number will create. Then after we can assign the profile or during the time of create itself, we can assign the profile or before creating, we can assign the profile. There are various stages or ways you can able to carry it out. Okay. That also we can able to show you right now. And then after how it is going to imply. So I'm going to close this particular session right now and going ahead for create a change number as we already mentioned in our PPT that for creating a change number the required CC01. So CC01 is the transaction code through which we can able to create a change number. Put CC01 in the transaction bar and press enter. Once you press enter then here you can find a field called profile. Choose your appropriate profile. In the selection box, click it. It will give you what are the profiles are currently available. Right now, this is the profile which we can select for create the master recipe. And this particular change number will effect for master recipe. Press enter. Once you press enter, system will ask you about the description. 
Now put here the description. I can able to put the description. Must change number. C H A N G E. Change number for master recipe. Master recipe. Valid from. Definitely we have to intimate it to the system that from which date this particular change number is valid. As for the, again, it is as for the business requirement, but currently by showing to all of you, I have to choose the today date. By default, the change in number status will be comes to two. You can see here what is the status insist for. So two means inactive and once one means active, 99 means finish. Finish in the sense this change number is no longer active. It's obsolete. So first of all, it will becomes under the inactive stage. Save it. Your change number will create. You can see here there each a number will generate in the downline where I am highlighting my cursor again and again. Okay. Now I can double click over here so that you can see in front of the screen that yes, the change number is proposed by SAP and confirmed by SAP. This is being created by using this change number. Either you can able to copy this change number and going ahead for change because for approval process, you will be go through the change only. Go back again, put the transaction code of CC02. So by default, that change number which we are recently created can able to place in the change number field. It is the history recording which be activated. If you activated, it will become automatically. If you are not activated, then it won't become. Genuinely, while the installation process carried out in your system towards the GUI, the history is being activated and the things are coming in this way. Press enter. Once you press enter, you will be find that here the status is 2. Okay. So we have to activate. Currently, it is inactive. I am highlighting again. It is inactive stage. Okay. So we have to activate. While we are going to active, it will be asked for the digital signature. That digital signature is nothing called your electronic signature. So have to choose 0, 1. Press enter once. Then after go for save. Once you go for save, you can see here system will ask for digital signature. So here I can able to give my comments. Approve the change number for master version. Again, it is not mandatory, but however, we can able to give our note or comments for further reference. Similarly, here we have to put our signature. Signature in the sense your personal SAP ID password. Okay. So this is my SAP ID proposed by my organization and then now I can able to put my password. Once I can, I can able to put my password, then what will happen? It will be accept the digital signature. Currently, you can see here, it is clearly written, it is the digital signature and remarks is, this is the change number which we are going for the approval process. Put here the digital signature and the password, then press enter, system will be proceed ahead. Again, the authorized person can able to do it without authority, although you have the SAP password, but you cannot able to. The best part is you can see here who is the authorized person. In the signatory field, the authorized person user ID will become automatically. So here I can able to put my password so that system can understand and able to proceed for the release. So you can see here the change number has been changed. So if we are going for display, then we understand this change number is already approved. Let's enter. You can see here this particular change number is approved stage. Hope so. You guys can understand. Although it is a small cycle, but this cycle is very much essential respect to any medical industry or specifically towards the international client. 
nowadays everyone is wondering more history or change records to which their users are carried out in day by day to track all those histories respect to that particular object the change number is a marvelous policy and marvelous concept suggested by sap and it is finding a very good and surface requirement towards the world in fact i am going to tell you i have more than 18 plus years of experience i executed many projects with considering towards the change number and surface many clients requirement not only domestic also international clients too however this is the entire holistic processes for create a change number approved through the digital signature and the processes is going to be complete henceforth this change number will apply to the master recipe that we can able to carry out in the next session so let's to be conclude today basically we learn how to create a change number second we also learned how to approve this change number through the digital signature finally whether this change number is approved or not that we verified it so this is all about the today journey and we covered well thank you all of you guys for your valuable time feedback and happy learning with metaphor consulting we always support you whenever you require thank you thanks a lot thank you very much thanks for your precious time we hope this information will help you to take the right decision thanks a lot thank you